Mass is in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. So today we have the feast of the great St. Francis uh, of Assisi. He uh, embraced especially the virtues of detachment from the world, the virtue of poverty, where he did not, did not, want, uh, did not want a treasure in this world, but he wanted to build his treasure always in heaven, and the virtue of humility, where he didn't want to seek any of the honors of this world. He wanted to be despised, and uh, sought to be despised by by others, and, uh, and uh, well, the only honors he wanted were those from from God. <coughs> so he set the example of a, a great charity as well, a great love for God, and a great love for na- his neighbor. And he was the one that uh, God uh, chose to uh, found a, a new order, and uh, he very quickly inspired many others uh, to want to follow him, to want to come to him, to want to join him, in uh, serving God and detaching themselves from the world, giving up all their worldly possessions and uh, living solely uh, for God and depending upon God for everything. So we're not going to depend upon uh, the world, we're going to depend upon God and we know that God is our Father and we trust Him as our Father that He will provide for us and that He will see that we do have what we need. He did many penances and uh, His great humiliation, His great humility. But He's been uh, uh, despised and mocked by the modern popes. Uh, it was Assisi, it was because of St. Francis uh, that Pope John Paul chose Assisi to the place where he would invite all the all the devil worshippers and all the ones that worship false gods and all these uh, heretics uh, to come <coughs> and pray. And to pray in Assisi and he let them mock our Lord Jesus Christ in Assisi and he pretended this was humility and this was uh, this was detachment from the world. It was a great insult to God and a, a, a great uh, uh, wrong to God. And so, uh, and of course, uh, uh, his disciples followed this. I mean, his uh, successors followed this. Pope Benedict, the same, uh, also uh, was uh, opposed to uh, serving God in this manner. And, and we brought also these infidels and everybody in Assisi and put them in the temple of St. Francis and, uh, and uh, had them do the wrong things. And then uh, the current Holy Father, he took St. Francis's name for himself and uh, he says, I'm going to take this name. And he makes a mockery of the life of St. Francis and of the things that St. Francis uh, did and, uh, and the way he lived. He makes a mockery of all that and says, no, uh, we're not going to behave uh, like St. Francis did. We're going to behave differently from how St. Francis uh, uh, did behave. And we're going to pretend we're like him. We're going to pretend to be humble like him, to pretend to be meek like him. And uh, so we have to say, no, we'd rather follow St. Francis and then follow the false uh, St. Francis's, the false impressions of St. Francis. We want to follow truly St. Francis and, uh, and, uh, and truly ask our Lord to make us meek and humble of heart and uh, detach us from the world so that we don't seek the goods of the world rather we do seek to build our treasure in heaven so let's ask saint francis to pray for us and let's ask him to pray for uh, his order his religious order that it might come back to his uh, to his way of thinking and come back to follow his rule and that he, he prayed for them and that produced uh, many saints and uh, uh, many much holiness and made men holy but, uh, today uh, they don't make men holy. So we want to uh, pray for all these things and ask our lady to intercede uh, with God for the uh, Franciscan order and for us that we might learn from St. Francis uh, to be humble, truly humble, and truly detached from the goods of the world. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.